Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Ricky with TechBot Solutions. My goodness, you're so close to me. <laughs> what's going on, guys? It's Ricky. I have my friend Megan here. Um, and today I am going to show you um, and kind of show her uh, how to create an ETF scanner on the TD Ameritrade, Think, or Swim platform. So let's go ahead and get started. You excited? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so one of the really cool things about TD Ameritrade is that they allow you to scan for stocks. So uh, like you were seeing me do, you're like, well, what, what are you doing? And we're pretty much gonna, going to create a scanner which scans pretty much like all the stocks in the stock markets uh, or all the stocks in the stock market and overall ETFs. Um, and they will pretty much create a list of stocks or ETFs that meet our criteria that we create, okay? okay. And you're gonna help me create it. Okay. You just move on over to this top tab, it's gonna be the fourth one to the right, and it's simply scan. So again, there's a lot of stocks and ETFs in the market, so we wanna focus on the ones that meet our criteria. Uh, so let's go ahead and kind of get started. Obviously, I want to create an ETF scanner, so just to narrow down the list, I'm gonna go up here, I'm gonna to go to public, right? And then I'm gonna scroll down here and click on all ETFs. This is gonna narrow it down for me to only scan for specific, you know, just ETFs alone. Uh, we're gonna start off with add a filter for a stock. Uh, we want to uh, really determine a price point, right? Of the ones, uh, of the certain ETFs that we're scanning for. So what that means is if I only want to, you know, trade ETFs that are trading between $50 and $500, then I'll set that as a you know, scan criteria. Um, and that's pretty much what we're doing right now. So I'm gonna go to last. Um, and what do you think um, would be, you know, something that we should maybe set as a minimum uh, for you know the scanner um, Well, I think it's probably best to avoid penny stocks, right? Yeah, so you don't want to go below five dollars. Oh ho, ho, ho. Yep. 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 All right So let's go ahead and set a last of uh, five dollars, right? So this is gonna be a minimum Sorry of five dollars, right? So last just means the last price of, of what it was right um, And then the max I'm gonna set that as 100 right so I'm gonna set that as the first scan. Uh, the next thing that I want to determine is I want to trade something with a decent amount of volume, right? Mm -hmm. I wanna make sure that I can get in and get out. Um, and volume is something that's very important to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and go down here. I'm gonna click on volume. Um, and I'm just gonna set this one at a base of uh, 5,000 and there's gonna be no max for me. The next thing that I wanna add is I want to add a study filter, right? So you can just go on over here, add study filter, go here, this is gonna be under popular studies, it's gonna be move, read, and average scan. That's kind of just my preference and this is the one that I'm setting, setting up. Uh, I'm gonna set this at a length of 180. Uh, this is just preference. Uh, and then now we're given the option if we want to go simple, exponential, weighted, uh, wilders, and then whole. Uh, which one do you think uh, would make the most sense um, for this specific scanner? Um, well, you day trade, so I would guess exponential. Yep, 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 here we go. So exponential, right, so we're gonna go there. And um, I think that's pretty much it. Um, we'll just go ahead and run the scan. Obviously the market's closed since today's Saturday. Uh, but all right, I'm just gonna double check everything. Last five dollars, a hundred volume. There we go. Um, and then average scan, uh, close ten percent above one hundred eighty exponential uh, because we have a focus on this. So uh, one of the things that I it actually reorganized right now. Uh, but one of the things that you'll notice from time to time is that. Um, it gives you uh, the list of, st of ETFs, right, for that met your criteria for what you scan for. I um, mean, that's really cool, but sometimes it's all over the place. For me, a thing that I really like to focus on is volume. So what I do is I click this and I make sure that from top to bottom, I focus on the ones that have the you know, the highest volume to the lowest. I, I would really not uh, try to go anything too far below, you know, the 25,000 or anything like that. So um, again, as of right now, uh, this is pretty much what we have set up. So now the really cool thing of what I can do here is um, I can go on the right hand side, right? I can click save scan and we're gonna call this uh, ETF scan and then featuring max. <laughs> So we're gonna go ahead and go there. And the really cool thing about that is that now that I have that, san, uh, that scan cre uh, query saved, um, I can actually run the scan off of my phone. Um, and this is something that a lot of people don't know that um, on my phone, because I have the trader application, which is you know connected to the TD Ameritrade platform, um, all I have to do here is I just go to my watch list. I can actually, um, and, and when I click on watch list, it doesn't just show my watch list, but it actually shows the different scanners. And you can see right here, ETF scan with Megs. I could run it and 
off of my phone, I can go through all the stocks that popped up. I can click on them and then I will have, you know, um, if you guys can see this, um, I can have all the ETFs you know, that I just scanned for on my TD Ameritrade Thinkorswim platform and, I'll ha and I now have them straight off my phone and I can do the same thing from top to bottom. So look, just to double check, we'll go ahead and run it, right, from top to bottom. And you guys can see it starts with NUGT Drip SEO, right? And then just so I could show you guys, uh, we can go ahead and go full screen and then you guys can see that um, off of my scan as well, it's NUGT, Drip, and SEO. And again, the way that you access that is you click watch list and all you have to do is click the specific scan that you have set up already. So um, that's really just it. Again, just wanted to kind of introduce Meg uh, on how to create a scanner. I think you did a great job. So feel free to drop uh, any thoughts or comments down in the description. If you guys want to follow Megan on Instagram, <laughs> you guys can click that first link in the description. It's going to be a little bit of a surprise for you. So click that first link, make sure uh, you follow her on Instagram. And then once you see her profile, uh, just let me know what you guys think. So if you guys are not familiar with who it is that I am, my name is Ricky. I run the largest YouTube channel for those who trade in the stock market and the largest private Facebook group as well for those who trade in the stock market. So uh, feel free to click that second link in the description. We have over 200 and 11,000 members all over the world. We'd love to stay connected. Um, and again, all you have to do is click that second link. I made a little bit over $18,000 uh, last week trading, and you guys are more than welcome to check out any of my videos. I recap my trades every single day, and I trade live with the Learn Plan Profit Group every single day. So if you'd like to work with me on a closer basis and see what it's like to be able to see someone actually day trade in the stock market live, then click that third link in the description and learn a little bit more on how we can stay connected within the Learn Plan Profit Lesson Live. I really do appreciate you guys it's time continue working hard continue following dreams let your passion be a judge and success and like always let's make sure that we end the year on a green note take it easy team